these are the top five skills, in my opinion, that is required. You require so you can have happy relationships. Welcome to the show where you increase your intelligence so you can understand yourself better and your relationships better and have better communication. These are, in my opinion, my five top skills that you need for a happy relationship. Let's begin with the unappreciated one and a little bit obvious, but taken for granted one, which most people are inexperienced. And that is sex. Sex skills are important for uh, facilitating a happy relationship. I don't mean for you to be the best in bed. I don't mean for you to be a Tantra master or Tantra queen. It doesn't matter what it is. To be good in bed, to have sex skills. Now, we're presuming these are the top skills for a sexual relationship. And what sex skills merely requires is communication between two parties. Because I want to presume that you're in a relationship without an experience. That you can create a happy relationship despite you're having experience in the relationship realm of skills, of skill sets. In other words, you could be 19 years old, coming out of high school, never been in a relationship, and step into a relationship and can immediately facilitate a happy relationship. How do you do that? How you do that, despite having experience in the sexual realm, is being able to appreciate what the other person likes, Appreciating what they, they want and desire and what they're into by commun via communication and finding out what they like and facilitating that. And here's the most important thing. Here's the most important thing that you don't practice in your relationship. I guarantee you don't do this for many, many reasons, which I'm not going to go into, which I would require you to read the book Relationships 101 on Amazon by Roan John. And that is your ability to recognize that you cannot fake a fetish. In other words, anything that you're not into and they're not into, they can't fake being into it. And so you're going to be into things which inevitably they're not going to be into. And Often, you're going to be into, on, on a lot of things, you're going to be into things which they're going to be into, and you can align with that. And when you recognize and when you facilitate a relationship with non-judgmental acceptance, meaning you accept them for who they are without any judgments, and you allow for them to be the person that they are, and you communicate to them that, I may not be into the same things you're into, and you may not be this, into the same things that I'm into. I would happily facilitate a relationship where we could be aligned and um, engage in the same things that, in the things that we're both into. But the things that you're into that I'm not into, I'd happily recommend you um, engage in those things with people, other people, that are into those same things. Now, I'm going to leave that alone for now, but that is a critical, important skill in, uh, to facilitate a happy relationship. But let's keep it in the context of you two. Your ability to communicate what they like, what you like, and uh, facilitate that. What is included in that? How they want it. Now, if you want to learn more about sexual skills and relationship skills, go to greatrelationshipsu.com. Oh, it's right there at the bottom of this uh, video. The next skill that I would, uh, incredibly important is negotiation skills. Everything is a negotiation. Every communication that you have is a negotiation. Why? It's because everything that you communicate is an agreement. And at the very least, you're negotiating for, you're saying, Ron, we're not in a negotiation realm. We're not negotiating about anything. We're just communicating. At the very least, if you, don't under, if you begin with that mindset, you're already downhill in your communication. 
Now, the biggest thing that I teach in my course, Great Relationships You, is communication. What is the very premise of communication that everything is a negotiation? At the very least, you're, you're negotiating for what? You should know this if you've heard my videos before. You're at the very least negotiating for their attention. You can't communicate without, without their appreciating what you're communicating. Okay, next thing, communication skills. To communicate came from the Latin word communicate, which is to share, to share ideas, information, and uh, uh, many other things. To share, you, you build a commune, a community that is uh, of two people or more. So to communicate is a tremendous, tremendous skill, which requires a lot of maturity, requires a lot of experience. What do I mean by experience? Well, I don't need experience. I, I'm in a relationship. <laughs> I've only ever had one partner. How can I acquire a relationship? Well, that's the, det that's the problem for most relationships. It's because most people go into relationships without any skill, without any experience. If you were, for example, to play chess with your dad for, the, for, for six years, and you became really, really good at chess, and you beat your dad finally. And then you say, oh my God, I'm so good. And then you go out there in the world and then you get beat by this, by this kid. It's because um, your experience was very, very little. You could be really, really good and, and beat someone who plays the fundamentals. And then you play someone who's actually good is when you, know, when you know where your confidence lies. So communicating is, an, is a skill. They say that communication is the most important thing in, the, in, in a relationship or one of the most important things in a relationship, except they don't tell you how to communicate, what to communicate about. They just say, communicate. Well, there are lots of formats of communication. You can communicate in an off-putting way. And inevitable result is your partner being put off <laughs> by your communication. So there are many different formats of communication. I will talk about that in other videos since I don't have time here. If you want to delve into the full course on 12 hour course on communication relationships and social dynamic skills, go to that website below this video. The last thing, and this is incredibly important to me, most, the most amazing uh, thing and You'll never find this advice anywhere uh, on the interwebs. And that is, the last skill is your skill of objectivity and morality. Your ability to outline, have a, have a detailed approach to life. Because you will have to communicate that. You will have to communicate what you like, what you don't like, your boundaries, what you will accept, what you won't accept, and how you go about life and your ability to communicate that. That is the skill of objectivity and morality. Your ability to have an outline for yourself of how you'd like to live your life, how you'd like to practice your relationship, what you won't like, what you think is good, what you think is bad, what you will accept, what you won't accept. What is your understanding of your moral codes? Do you have codes? If you don't have codes, you're not standing for anything. When you don't stand for anything, you're essentially a jellyfish spineless jellyfish. You have to know what you stand for. You have to know what you won't accept. Here's uh, an idea for you. Only when you know what you won't accept will the things you accept have any value. You got that? Only when you, do, when you know what you will not tolerate will the things that you tolerate, will the things that you accept, you engage in, mean anything. Otherwise, they will never know. Your partner will never know what the boundaries are. And um, there's no happiness in that. I'll, I'll share more about this in other videos. So we've got 30 seconds. Let's recap. Sexual skills, negotiation skills, all of communications, negotiations, at the very least, you're negotiating for attention. Communication skills. Oh, I forgot one. That was only four. Number last one is empathy. Your ability to communicate, to be going into their reality, understand the reality, and be able to communicate that. I'll see you, see you in the next video. Bye.